My entire goal here is to save you a bunch of time. I think I've made the best keyboard preset for DaVinci Resolve out there. And don't worry, you don't have to remember any of these shortcuts. That's what my custom PDF is for. So that will be linked in the description and let's go over some movement basics. The keys you are going to use the most are number one, two, and three. Number one will play your footage in reverse. Number two will play in pause and number three will play forward. If you hit number one or number three twice, it will fast forward or fast backward. That means if I hit number three and then hit number three again, it will play at double the speed. If I hit it three times, it will play at quadruple the speed and so on. To do this right away without the need of pressing them twice, you can simply hit shift and then number one and it will fast forward at twice the speed backwards. And you can do the same with number three. And then when you keep on hitting it, it will just follow along like in the previous example. Now depending on what you last hit, either number one or number three, or forwards and backwards, shift with number two will do a different action. That means if I hit number three last going forwards and I hit shift and number two, it will play back at half the speed going forwards. But if I hit number one last and I hit shift and number two, it will play at half the speed backwards. And also you can hit this multiple times in order to either counteract the doubling of hitting the other keys twice or three times, four times, or you can hit number two twice in order to go 0.25 the speed. Another bonus shortcut that I added in my last update is command plus any of the numbers. If you're on Windows, command is basically control. So command and one is going to be on the edit page and we are so it's, it's not going to switch. Command and number two is going to go to the fusion page. Number three is going to go to the color page. Number four is going to go to Fairlight. Number five is going to go to the liver page. And number six is going to go to media all the way back. And number seven is going to go to the cut page. I placed the media and cut page as the last one since I pretty much never use them. And if you guys are actually using these, you can just reconfigure the order in your keyboard settings. By the way, the shortcut for keyboard settings is command option K or control alt K. Okay, so let's now move to the other side of the keyboard to our arrows. So first and foremost, hitting the arrows right or left is going to move you by one frame in either direction. If you hold down shift, while while healing any of these arrows, it's going to move you by one second, backwards or forwards. In order to demonstrate you the up and down arrows, I'm gonna just quickly make some cuts here. The top arrow is going to move you to the left of your playhead. I don't know which way the camera is facing right now, but to the left of your playhead to the nearest cut. So if I hit it multiple times, you can see I really quickly just jump from cut to cut. If you hold down shift and do the same, it's now not going to do anything because we don't have any markers in place. Because if you hold down shift and go up and down with arrows, it's going to jump between markers on your timeline. So let's place a few really quickly. By the way, the keyboard shortcut for that in my presets is M and it should be also on the default shortcuts. So now when we hit shift and up arrow, it's going to do nothing because we are at the beginning of our timeline and the up arrow is always looking to the left. Okay, so if we now hold down shift and hit the down arrow, as you can see, we are jumping between the markers since we now have something to jump to on the left. I have also added the shortcut for you to jump between keyframes. So let's quickly create some, let's say some zoom keyframes like right here, right here, right here, and right here. And now when we press the boxy bracket keys, it's going to jump between those keyframes. So let's try it really quickly. And as you can see, it works phenomenally. Okay, so those are all of the shortcuts that you are going to need to move on your timeline in DaVinci Resolve. If I have missed any of the shortcuts that you guys use on the regular, please let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to make this the best keyboard layout possible and I'm continually gonna be updating it. So make sure to check it out in the description down below. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.